Kenya has a huge talent pool of competent and capable developers, which is why the likes of Microsoft and other tech companies are setting up and continue to set up their Africa operations here. Microsoft is looking to invest in the future of 30 million young people by providing digital skills to students, developers, startups, SMEs and underserved communities. There's no one who can be able uh, to deliver on this agenda alone. This requires uh, partnership across industry, across government, across academia. This is why we are partnering with uh, all of you to introduce this industry digital talent program uh, which is aimed at developing uh, digital skills in the market uh, by taking a sustainable approach to create a healthy uh, digital uh, talent uh, pipeline. Uh, so when we commit to 200 uh, interns, we are saying out of those 200, we'll employ 100 and then the rest will be employed by, by others, including SMEs. It is important to note that the government has been at the forefront of launching initiatives such as the Presidential Digital Literacy Program, our JIRA Digital Program and the Presidential Digital Talent that will provide the youths of this nation with a launchpad and the necessary support to create opportunities that will contribute to the reduction of youth employment. I want to thank you, Safaricom, for building a partnership with the academia, the private sector, training partners, government and technology hubs in these initiatives that will transform the digital skills labor market in Kenya by training and equipping over 1,000 youth by March 2023. So I want to thank you and I want to join you in officially declaring the Digital Talent Program officially launched. On behalf of all my friends who are actually very grateful for this opportunity, I am here to say a big thank you for allowing us to change the narrative, for allowing us to bridge the gap between those people who leave school for the tens and thousands who actually graduate to those who actually end up being employed.